How's it going? Welcome or welcome back to the uh, channel. So on today's video, we're going to be talking about oil dilution and specifically to Honda's L15 or their 1.5T. So we're going to talk about what exactly is oil dilution, what can happen if you do have oil dilution and you choose to ignore it, how to identify if you do have an oil dilution issue, and what you can do about it if you in fact do have an oil dilution issue. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, so first things first, what is oil dilution? Oil dilution is simply gas that is going past the piston rings, sliding down the rings, dripping into the oil pan and diluting the oil, thus the term oil dilution. So uh, you are increasing the amount of oil that is actually in the oil pan. And that is one of the signs which we will get to later on in the video. So in normal circumstances, um, some of those uh, gases would vaporize back into the engine uh, via the PCV system. And at a normal rate, this would be completely acceptable in certain situations, which we will uh, again address in a, a little bit. Um, this isn't happening and too much fuel is collecting at the oil pan, causing this issue that we are seeing here today. So in a 16 to 18 Honda Civics 1.5T and 17 to 18 CRV, Honda did make some uh, software updates to attempt to uh, resolve some of these uh, dilution issues. So a lot of people weren't even aware this was an issue. Other people did have some concerns, although uh, we are still seeing some dilution issues here and there. But again, most people don't even know that this is even happening with that, with the exception of uh, people that are probably watching this video and are kind of concerned with the issue. So uh, simply put, dilution is, again, um, gas going into the uh, oil pan and just uh, collecting there instead of being vaporized like it normally would in normal rate circumstances. So how to identify if you do have an oil dilution issue? So um, easiest way to tell is by either smelling your dipstick from your engine or checking the level on your engine. If it smells like fuel, you have a dilution issue. If uh, the oil level is uh, increasing or raising, then you have an issue. Now, if you do early maintenance, you may not be able to detect this, although in certain circumstances, it can most definitely still be there at that point. So uh, those would be the two easiest ways to identify. Now, if you're trying to track this down, I would recommend getting your oil change done, making sure it's absolutely level at the highest point and not going anything above it or below it. My, uh, you know, Make sure you have uh, the engine um, shut off for at least five minutes, the car is level and you get the most accurate reading at that point. From there, you monitor every 1,000 miles or so, and if you see it steadily increasing, then obviously uh, there's some fuel going in there and you have a dilution issue, and you probably would be able to smell it at that point too. In some extreme cases, you could actually smell it in the cabin. Um, this is probably very rare, although there are some confirmed cases of that. I've never personally ran across this at my dealership, but again, there are confirmed cases of this and would be an extreme case, but it could most definitely uh, happen to you. And at that point, it would be pretty evident that you have an issue. And last but not least, you could get your oil engine uh, engine oil tested in a lab. So um, probably not the most convenient way for most people to do. And if you don't smell it, then chances are you either have it or you have minimal uh, you know, uh, dilution going on and probably not needed to, uh, to get it lab tested. So what can happen if you do have oil dilution and you ignore the issue or simply don't know it's even an issue? So obviously anytime anything is diluted, it no longer works the way it was designed. So in this case, oil is a uh, lubricant. So once it's diluted, it loses that viscosity and no longer doing the job properly. So obviously there could be some a long-term uh, catastrophic effects on the engine, uh, most likely not going to happen, but it can happen if it goes ignored for a longer period of time, especially as these vehicles age. So um, oil, you know, supposed to lubricate bearings, uh, pistons, uh, turbo bearings, uh, camshafts, etc. So obviously if uh, this is being ignored, it could definitely have and take a toll on some of those components causing some, uh, you know, immature or premature uh, wear on these uh, components 
and obviously causing you some damage down the line that probably shouldn't have happened if this wasn't an issue. So um, obviously, if you do have this issue, you're going to want to take uh, the appropriate steps to try to either eliminate it or minimize it as much as possible. So how to deal with it if you do have a dilution issue? So in most cases, this is actually happening in cold weather states. Now, it can most definitely happen also in some uh, warm weather states, but it's primarily isolated to cold weather states or in the wintertime of these cold weather states. So um, what you could do is uh, minimize your idling time. So I know people in the winter like to remote start, but that's um, you know considered idling time and it could uh, directly be related to um, promoting this issue for that. So um, if you are having a dilution issue, you're gonna wanna try to reduce that remote start or idling time as much as possible. You're also gonna want to reduce do a short uh, trips to make sure that all that fuel is uh, getting burnt up all, all those vapors getting reburnt um so if you have a short commute once in a while you may want to take an extra longer commute maybe a longer route i know it's not the most convenient approach but it is an option and something you can do. Once again, Honda claims that these issues are a fix, although we still get uh, random cars here and there when we're draining the oil and we smell the fuel in the oil. Now, usually those cars are uh, from people that don't really maintain those vehicles or are negative in their um, maintenance minder systems. So, um, at that point, the longer you wait, the more fuel is gonna be in the oil regardless, so it doesn't really matter, but we do see them once again. So another thing is you're going to want to change your oil more frequently. If you're changing your oil 10,000 miles, that only is a terrible for this dilution issue. It's also terrible uh, regardless for all your components, and you're probably causing some sludge and some premature wear on them regardless if you have a dilution issue or not. So uh, 5,000 miles would be the absolute most I recommend, regardless of what your main minder said. Uh, personally, I like to do them at every 3,000 miles, and this, you know, guarantees minimum dilution and the most, um, you know, long-term reliability for your engine and turbo, et cetera, for multiple uh, different reasons. Uh, I like to err on the side of caution and do the maintenance, not only on the engine oil, but all the fluids on the aggressive side. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful to somebody out there. I get this uh, question asked pretty often, and I promised a video to a couple different people already, so it was time to do it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you do drop them in the comments section down below. If you're having dilution issues and you're dealing with it, uh, let me know what you're trying to do to deal with it. If you don't have any dilution issues, let me know as well. And if you never heard of the issue, drop a comment anyways. Um, and like that, we can just uh, discuss whatever it is that you may be concerned with, maybe for a different video. That being said, I'll catch everyone on the next one.